this one, what I'm going to do is just add some material to this mesh so we can mark in the roads. I'm also going to add in a cube and just position it where I want the base of this house to go. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do here is with this selected, I'm just going to rename it. I'm going to double click over here and just call this ground mesh and press enter. And what I want to do is add it to a layer. So I'm going to come over to the layers tab over here and I might just bring it down here. So I'm going to rename layer 11 just to ground mesh and just press enter. And I'm going to click this here, which is move selected objects to this layer. Now that's on that layer. I'm going to switch this back on. And I'm actually going to make a duplicate of this. So I'm going to press shift D to make a copy. Just right click and I'm going to rename this one over here just to ground mesh backup. Press enter. And for that, I'm just going to move it to layer 20. First, I'm going to name this to maybe to backup. OK, that way, if anything happens to mesh, we can come back here and use this. So I'm just going to move selected objects and I'm going to leave it switched off. OK, I'm going to select our ground plane. And if I come up to my tools, I'm going to smooth shade this. OK, and that gives it a nice smooth finish. The next thing I want to do is add a material to this and just mark in some of the landmarks so I get an idea of where we are on the mesh. So what I'd like to do first is come over here to the material tab and I actually need to come up here to the render engine and switch this to cycles. And now I can add a material. I can just rename this. I'm going to call this green. This is just going to be a diffuse color. It's going to be a green color. So if I click in the color, switch this to green and maybe just darken it a little bit. So I want to add another material slot to this and just differentiate some parts of the mesh. So I'm going to hit the plus, click new and just rename this to, I'm going to call this roads, press enter and I can just rename and I can click in the color swatch and just maybe give this a blue color. So with that done, I'm going to come over to the modifiers tab and I'm going to apply the subdivision surface modifier. So that way when I tab into edit mode, I can get at the faces. So I'm going to press tab and come on into edit mode. I'm going to press control tab and just switch to face. I'm also going to press Z and bring up wireframe and I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. So you can see that there are roads coming up along this map. So what I'd like to do is just roughly mark them in by selecting these faces. So I'm going to press C and select these faces here right the way up and just select all of these. Okay, so I'm just going to press C and start selecting these roughly based on the position of these roads. I'm actually going to mark this one in. And just deselect any doubles with the middle mouse button. Okay, it's not too important up here because it's away from the map, but I'm just going to do it there. And then there's one road across here that's going to give me an idea where this site is going to be. So something like this. Okay. So with those marked in there, I'm just going to differentiate these by coming over to the material tab, selecting roads and hitting assign. So if I press Z now and bring up material, I'm just going to press A to deselect. You can see that we, we have our road mar marked in using just the colors. Okay. I'm just going to come back to wireframe. I'm going to press A once or twice. Okay, I'm going to zoom in over here and I'm going to pick a position for the site. So I think maybe this area here, I'm going to press shift S and cursor to select it. I'm going to tab back to object mode. So I'm going to, just going to add a cube to this. So shift A, I'm going to add a cube and I probably need to scale this up. So I'm just going to press S and scale it up. I'm also going to give it a red color. So I'm just going to rename the material to red and click 
in the color and just switch this to a red color. So I'm just going to come into front view, have a look at this. I need to drag it down, something like this. I just want to mark basically where this is. So if I come back to material, I can just come around here, drag this up. What I need to do is apply the displacement modifier. So I'm going to come over to the modifiers tab and just hit apply on this. So now if I tab into edit mode with this selected, I can press S Z zero. Okay. And that flattens my site. And actually what I might do is select both of these and S Z zero. And that way we have nice level ground there. I'm going to come back to object mode and drag this down slightly. It's not too important for the moment. I'm going to tab into edit mode and I'm actually going to select these top faces and just press delete and choose faces. Okay. So now I'm just going to make this the length and width that I want this base to be. It's going to be a template. So for the X, it's going to be, it's going to be 10 by 16 press enter. Okay, if I tab into edit mode, I'm going to press A once or twice. Select, just select the face, shift S, cursor to select it. So what I want to do is place the origin point. It's currently up here, which was the center of the cube. So I'm going to place it here. So if I tab back to object mode and from tools, I can set the origin to the 3D cursor. Okay, if I come down to snapping, I'm just going to switch this to face. I press G, Z and snap that to the face of that mesh. Okay, so I'm just going to press 7 now and come into wireframe and just kind of move this close to where I think this wants to be, something like this. And actually I want to rotate this by 90 and I'm going to press Control A just to apply that rotation and scale. Okay, so it's 16 by 10. And it looks pretty small in relation to everything else. I'm just going to come back to material. So that's the position of the site and the base of the house that we'll just use as a template. Okay, and that's going to do it for this one.